Hello guys, so in this video I'll discuss, I'll suggest what we have to do in week number 5. From week 1 to week 4, that is for a month, we have given exclusively for arithmetic and then I'm sure that you must have gained a lot of concept, tricks and approaches to handle any questions or any variety of questions from arithmetic. From this week, we'll be starting or uh, start targeting uh, the another module, uh, another important module that is algebra and within that we should start with equation. So equations you'll be getting in three different format broadly. So you'll be getting linear equation, quantity equation and some equation which have a higher degree, right? It could be of any degree. Now the time allotted is again, I have kept it same because the, the this particular topics do not require too much of time. But yes, they do require uh, that you should uh, solve varieties or you should understand different types of questions within this particular topics and what are the approaches and concept required, right? So definitely you have to focus on the formulas and concept and you have to focus on integral solution that is linear equation. So there are varieties of questions to find linear uh, uh, integral solutions questions. Some questions are based on purely number system. Some questions are based on algebraic part. So within the algebraic part, we'll be finding uh, that questions primarily uh, on finding integral solution which are based on linear equation. So there is, a, an, uh, there is an approach. There is no formula for it, but yes, there is an approach Using that approach, we identify the number of possible solutions, right? Since linear equation is very, very elementary and easy to understand, our major focus should be on the quadratic equations. Anything and everything, whatever given the theory part from the area of quadratic equation is important. There is nothing which is called unimportant from quadratic equation, right? So everything, whatever given is important, you have to do it. And from higher degree, just understanding how the higher degree uh, equation, we, uh, how, how the concepts are used in higher degree, the major part from the higher degree is understanding how the factors and remainder theorem works, right? And in algebra, there is every now and then you'll be getting questions which is clubbed with some inequalities. So obviously you have to also understand how do we approach inequalities when it is clubbed with say linear equation or quadratic equation or any kind of equation, right? Now let me show you that in the course where you'll be finding it and from there what you have to do. So once you log in, you'll be getting into this course. And within that, you have to now go to quant cat quant algebra folder right in this folder you'll be finding all these topics so within that as you can see that everything is given right from the linear equation quadratic equation and higher degree so you'll be finding all the theory parts you have to go them uh, go through those theory parts one after another right and everything has to be done important thing if i can mark within this is definitely the maxima minima from the quadratic expression and from higher degree, as I said, that you have to focus primarily on polygon factor theorem and remainder theorem, as you can see these two. And given a lot of examples also where you can use it. There are some extra thing which is given. You can, you have to go through them as well because you don't know that uh, which particular concept will be, uh, can be used, right? Now, once you have gone through the theory part and definitely you have to immediately move to the uh, problem sets. So I've given a lot of problem sets here, as you can see, right? And you have to solve at least 50% of the problem set in the first week or in this particular week, week number five. And you can leave rest of the practice problem, preferably those practice problem which are uh, at the bottom because these problem set, they do require apart from the concept of linear and quadratic equation, they might be requiring some concept from progression, logarithm and etc. So you can hold these practice problems till you have done those topics in the coming weeks. In the next video, I'll be discussing that what we have to do in the week number six.